Hey, hey, hey guys, what is up? Thirsty Thurston here, and today um, I am going to be playtesting my slash our very own game, Yosemite Forest Ranger. Um, this is a game that I've been working on, as most of you will probably already know. Um, <clears throat> let's just click this. The 74 Strangers game that I started working on since, I don't know, I think it was somewhere midway 2020. We've been through a few iterations of the game already. It's available on Steam. Link will be in chat throughout this playtest. Um, it's an early access and I have restarted the project approximately three different times now. Um, the third time, of course, went the fastest with like restating or resetting or rebuilding everything <sighs> so let's just uh, get the game started and see what we can do now i'm gonna be trying to play the game as a normal person playing the game of course i already know how everything works or is supposed to work i should say um and to that extent i will just be playing it and play testing the game seeing how it rolls seeing how it works in the meantime, I have my trustworthy um, tablet boy here. And I'll be making notes of stuff that I noticed that I need to address during development. And hopefully we can then sooner rather than later get to a point where we can make the game playable. And re like update the Steam version because that is currently not really working. Um... I will be mostly focusing on game breaking bugs right now because if the game just runs and it works, sort of, it works. Now I've been working on the bow and arrow for example, um, where the bow or the arrow doesn't go through certain objects. Like normally when you shoot an arrow and it hits something it goes partially in, right? Um, well for some objects that happens and for some they don't. I know that this is an issue, so I will be not I will not be addressing it. Also, there is not a save system yet. That is something that I want to work on next if everything else works. Because that once everything works, it's easier to implement that. Because it's mostly just clicking a few things together. Or that's what it's supposed to be anyway. So we'll see how this goes. And um, let's just hope it runs decently enough that everybody can be happy with it because that has been the challenge the past few days or past few weeks yeah i know right and i fixed it in between you know that's the worst thing i fixed the arrow issue in between then the uh, mst came out the hypers mst template thing and i reintegrated the whole mst uh stuff and it's kind of broke again so yeah great just going to start here at the new beginnings. This is a dev build, by the way. So I will be able to launch um, console commands. Like this one. And that is pretty good, I think. Yeah, we're running right now at 55 FPS, I think. Something like that. I still need to tune some textures and stuff but i think i am running this on epic currently epic settings i hope yeah everything is on epic so and it's in in 2k so it's normal that it's only 60 fps 50 to 60 so that's cool that's nice that's good i'm happy with that um wow the game audio is very low i might have actually set that up on my end so it doesn't uh, like when I'm watching other stuff and playtesting it doesn't go through all my other sounds or whatever I don't know it doesn't matter anyway um hey there Eric what's up no intro no I took the old intro out because we need a new voice actor and the old intro is uh, not well, it's not up to date anymore, basically. Um, also, the map has changed a lot since that. As you can see, it's 
to a more realistic scale right now. And due to Nanite still being uh, terrible in... Uh, still being terrible in, in like performance wise, I went back to the old school LOD system. So I had to take a lot of the beautiful trees out there that came in Nanite. And I hope that in future versions of um, the Unreal Engine it will run better again. So that we can uh, actually uh, yeah, use those again. But for now I will not because it's too hard to optimize by myself. At least for, for like older machines, right? Because it works fine on my PC and it works fine on a lot of other PCs. But if you have people out there that already bought your game and they need like to upgrade their RAM and GPU and everything just to run your game because Nanite is not that optimized. Yeah, that's not going to fly. And that's not going to make the customers happy. Use 11 laps for voice. Is that like the AI generated stuff? I have looked at that in, in like a while back. Um, the thing is, this game is like... Um, the story of the game has a lot of emotional uh, baggage. And it's a very dark story. So the character and the voice of the character needs to be able to um, portray emotions. And most of those AI systems that I have seen... When I looked at them, didn't really do emotions that well. Um, oh, peppermint, nice. So, we start the game out over here for now anyway. And that might change in the future. Uh, we have our ranger vehicle right here, right? Ava available. Sound uh, is sometimes louder than others. I am working on that as well. I was actually trying to, that was one of the last minute things I was trying to fix before we went live, but of course it wasn't that easy. Well, let's check out this house. Now it's good to know you guys that this is not just your, it's not supposed to be a survival game, okay? So don't expect it to be, because you will be disappointed I think. Let's um, take some of these recipes here. I don't know what's with the lighting here. It's weird. Let's um, drink some. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't think we have anything to cook yet. I hope this is the only house with the lighting issues and the cameras clipping through the whole building. God damn it. It's fine though. It's fine. Oh, peppermint tea. Okay. Nice. Let's actually see if we zoom in on his shoulder more, if that's better. Yeah, there's some, uh, I think there is some visibility uh, trace channel that's going wrong with UDS. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Oh, well. Again, not a game breaking bug per se if you guys uh, have any uh, ideas on how stuff works or have any suggestions on the game or things you see let me know as well also i know adlam is uh, a pretty good dev i actually uh <laughs> the reason i joined your discord server adlam is because i saw you you built a whole fishing system that's pretty cool dude i've been looking for a fishing system for yfr and I might um, look at yours as well. I haven't really dove into it too much. I saw the trailer and it looked pretty neat. Okay, let's get back to the car and let's start driving again. We need to keep an eye on our food and our uh, water in the bottom left. Because while it's not a survival game, you're a forest ranger that's running out in the boat. In the weather and everything. So you do need to keep an eye on your. Well. Your mental health and everything. <laughs> yeah it probably does. I mean it looks pretty good. Bugs for bucket. What? I don't get that one. 
The wildlife should also somewhat be working now. The company you work for use it. It has tons of emotions. Okay, I will definitely uh, check that out. Let me just uh, hit the break here and write that down right away. Otherwise, it's going to be lost in chat. Probably. 11 laps, you said? Now we do have a mini map as well, but I think, yeah, my camera is uh, covering it. So let me just turn off the camera for a second so you guys can see the mini map there. The mini map and the compass are toggleable. So if I, I think it's N for uh, nitro, yeah, there we go. That toggles it and C for compass, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Oh, uh, that's because I'm in the vehicle and that's also probably, yeah. Oh, that trigger is not set up well. Okay. <laughs> oh. Easy. Okay. But yeah, that is um, that is toggleable everything, so that's cool. Well, let's just keep on trucking a little bit. Now, there are some functions that work only when you're outside of the car or outside of the vehicle, and that is on purpose. So, the in-game menu, which currently, I think, only uh, opens on I, which is something I don't like and I will fix or, or change. But here we have the, the in-game menu, also the inventory, which I also might just... Change with what's this? Redberry jam, hell yeah, purpleberry jam, that's cool. These are recipe books, by the way. You will learn the crafting or cooking recipe by learning these. Here we have a crafting menu for very basic stuff like the workbench. And you can see it needs wooden short beams, rope, and wooden plank. Oh, I also, ew, I want to change that to the item name and not the row name. So if you see me just stopping and not doing anything, I'm probably writing down notes. So there you know. Is that Hyper's map and compass also? Hell no. He uh, hasn't, he doesn't have one yet. Um, this is Quest Map Pro. This thing, I swear to God, Quest Map Pro is one of the best things I have seen. Especially the developer is an amazing guy. His name is Michael or Dapper Raptor as he goes by. Uh... And he built this. It is fucking efficient. It is. It's just. It's amazing. And he knows his stuff as well. And it's crazy. I haven't seen a lot of um, uh, marketplace um, sellers that help people as much as he did. So he helped me with a lot of issues. He even connected me with someone to help me with optimization. Um, and he also, he just, he helps you, he helps people out with issues that are not per se his to fix. So if you have a, like for a while when we rendered the map, I use Riverology from the uh, Oceanology team. Um, if you were capturing your, your mini map or your map textures, it did not work. The whole waters just turned out black or they didn't even turn up at all. Um... And he actually worked a fix into his product while it was not his issue to solve. And yeah, it, I helped him with that and it was crazy. So it's it's nice to help people around. The map keys key was working on the old version, I think. Yeah, um, so if you press M, it will open the map as well. Uh, and you can see here, we can scroll around a little bit. Um, we can add markers as well. 
Um, this is better than the old map that I have, in my opinion, because the old map was fun with the uh, sound effects, but or or the voice effects, but it just uh, there was so many issues with it, with garbage collection and everything. It was annoying. And here we have a vendor. This is uh, Manuel Manuel, gas station attendant. I changed all their names, but I forgot to change it in here. I think um, candy bar. 12 bucks yeah let's do it so here you can see then you are buying a candy bar you're buying three the price per item and the total price something new hyper added it's nice but it's also annoying that for every purchase you get this screen so i'm not sure if i will keep it in but we'll see for now it is useful um food 30 15 only 15 yeah i know a place where we can get some good free food Bye, Manuel. Thank you. Hola. We have another water bottle here. That's nice. And we can use this well. However, this well will have dirty water. So I do not recommend drinking it. Um, but we have these bottles which we can consume. Now I have two empty bottles. I am also really low on food. So I think I'll just eat this. Yeah, that's better. Now if we go to the well and we fill our containers yeah that sound effect is more for the sink but it works uh, and we can see we have two dirty water uh, bottles that we can cook on a campfire or a stove to make clean water just the tiny little things that I like to have um, what else oh man I was sneezing um, Let's see, what else can I show you guys? Well, we can, of course, chop trees down to get logs and everything. Um, so we are now here at the gas station. I think we will next go to... What should we do? What should we do? I think we will go to the... Um... Wait, let me get out once more. I think we'll go to the carpenters. You can also see, by the way, here in the bottom. Let me remove my camera again so you guys can see. We have a clock with the, the current in-game time, the weather, um, what day of the year, of the month it is, and the season is basically the month, the year, and the temperature. Both normal units and idiot freedom units. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Um, just kidding. But yeah, so that's nice. Thank you, Ultra Dynamic Sky. Um, cue to start the engine. And on our way to the uh on our way to the uh what you call it to the 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 oh, damn it what's it called the carpenter we will cr come by a a house or a cabin that we will uh go check out um Let's see, where is it? I don't really like that the area is so open now. It used to be m way more dense with the nanite foliage, but it was it was garbage, dude. It did not it did not work uh, work well in our favors with, especially for people like people had to play the game on like medium or low, and then the whole textures were not visible, and it was just. Eh. No, it was not. It was not cool. Now also, don't be afraid to stray off the path, right? We're not Little Red Riding Hood. We can stray off the path without dying. Most of the time. Um, but you might, f you will of course find more forageables off the beaten path. Like for example, on this hillside, there is more... Uh... Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. <sighs> oh yeah, tired. It's more goodies on the sides of the mountains than uh, they are anywhere else. Well, just off the path, basically. If you go only on the roads, you will not find stuff that might help you in the end. All right, let's see. Here we have a nice lantern that's always useful. We can interact with this thing to cook. It's a barbecue. Let's add a stick. One just for now. And then these two dirty bottles. I don't know why this UI is um, 
going into each other. Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> okay. Whoops. <laughs> that's extensive. But if it works, right? Uh, oh, shit. There we go. Great. What the hell is going on? Oh, come on. Okay, hold up. Something is... What the hell? So it needs fuel to be on. It looks like it's on, but I think it's not. I'm not sure. The fire should be killed if it's not on. Also, there's no timer, so I think it's not on. Let's try that again. Transfer stack. Click this. Why can't? Why is it not? Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. It's finicky at best. I don't know. There was something weird with the crafting queue. We have two or six slots here. And now it's done, so the fire should go out, but it's not. Okay, that's something I need to write down, because that's very... Um... Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well, Eric. I needed some some way to, to have the people keep uh, exploring, because exploring is a very important part of the game. And it will once we have voice actors and the actual story can be uh, reincorporated. That will make more sense. Okay, no tits. Alright, I think I have to uh, kill Unreal on the background. Because I feel like OBS is having a little bit of issues with the game being on, but whatever. Um, cooking with wild herbs. Oh yeah, okay. Another thing. Buildings need to block. Interact trace, because now we can pick up the clean water bottle through the wall, which is weird. That's not how life works. So, yeah. All right, let's see, we have a stove. Oh yeah, let's drink some, cause we're not doing too hot. Okay, cool. We have another book here that I want to grab. Chamomile tea, hell yeah. What's that? That's upstairs. Why can we reach that? Oh wait. Yeah, we also have um, kitchen cabinets. Wait, let me actually turn on the lantern cause it's kind of dark in here. Dude. Hello? Are you telling me I did not connect this code up? I did. Damn it. Okay. Apparently I did not connect the lantern code. Then we'll just um, make use of their bed upstairs and take a Neperuski. Wait, I have it equipped, right? Yeah, I do. Weird. Okay. Well, that's something for in the notes. Sleep in the bed and here we can sleep for a certain amount of time. Uh, let's sleep. Yeah, eight hours I think will be great. Then we skip time. <laughs> All right, cool. I just noticed that the... Uh, All right, then what else do we got here? There is a book over here that I know. Oh, blueberry jam, nice. Okay, now that we can actually see 
We have kitchen cabinets up here, which are basically free storage units. These are very large, apparently 74 slots. That's way too much, but okay, fine, that's fine. Um, and some houses also might have a fridge that will um, uh, uh, keep stuff uh, be good. Yeah, how do you say that? Like here, these uh, candy bars are lowering their durability. Um, and if you put stuff in a fridge, it will last longer. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it is the, the flickering should be UDS uh, related though. Because that's the only lighting I have, but I don't, I don't know. Let's get this. All right, cool. We need more food, guys. We need more food. Um, okay. Let's just get out of range of this building and let it uh, unload. Oh, yeah, we also have this chair here. Eventually, I might uh, make it uh, sitable. I'm not sure yet. Hyper is working on a safe system, but I'm not going to use it because he is going to um, he's going to freaking redo his whole architecture again. Maybe may, I'm not sure. He might redo his architecture again for the safe system. Um, he uh, he is built. They are working on it. I don't know how he has um, a new dev uh, in in his team that is also doing C plus plus work now. So they're basically building a also a C++ EOS wrapper thingy um, for uh, lobbies and stuff. Um, he wants to build everything himself. I'm not quite sure why he wants to do everything himself when there is other product. Of course, he wants... I mean, I get it because he needs to have everything together for a complete package. I don't know, but they're working on that uh, on um, they're working on a uh, EOS wrapper, the Epic Online Services, and he's also working on a safe system, which I think will work similarly with a C++ thing and a wrapper. But I'm not sure if it's not going to be like that, then I am not sure how a safe system is going to work efficiently. I will still be using EMS, though. No, I don't think he... I, no, he will not do a V3. If he does that, he's going to lose everybody he has right now. And people already are not all, t all the, happy all the time. Which I also understand. A lot of people complain about the way he does his cells, his, his, his systems with the V1 turning into the V2 and then the V2 is still being the V2 but changing... Uh, towards the 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 MST architecture, so the V2s are still the V2s if you own them. But yeah, since the code changed so much, you 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 sh if you want to keep adding stuff together, keep the modularity, you still have to restart your whole project or reintegrate everything, and that's what is bothering me the most. But I I can I can imagine that is hard to like figure out how everything could work together without any changes unless you build it all everything unless you build everything up front and then upload it to the marketplace i guess but yeah that's gonna take a lot of time and cost a lot of money before you make anything hey simon and neo what's up guys uh, Eric says, I find it happening in Unity Assets too. The abandoned wear versioning and making everything an add-on. Yeah, that's true, Adlin, but I, he, he can't. He just can't. If he does that, especially with his MST being out now, he, there is no way he can do that. The thing is, everybody who is, like people in the Discord are asking now, like, hey, is the safe system there yet? Uh, or should I wait for the safe system? Or can I start yet? The thing is, once he has his safe system, there is going to be blueprint changes. So systems might change a little bit or a lot. It depends on how he's going to integrate it. But the way that EMS does it, the easy multi-save, which is also, again, an amazing product. You basically just select the components you want to save. Um, 
you select the component you want to save you put that into an interface and then you basically on each variable that you want to save you just click a checkbox that is already standard unreal but you can tap into that from blueprints i think or maybe you can but i've never never really looked into it because i don't care um but that is such an easy way to set it up i cannot imagine hyper setting up a system that is going to be uh, similarly easy to set up or easier I I don't know I mean maybe I have to see it first but I don't know I am going to keep uh, using EMS and I am also waiting for Hyper to bring out his fishing system because I want the fishing system hey nice but it just takes so long for him to finish the fishing system because he was working on it like when V1 I think was still going and then he got the combat system and, and the equipment system because he was working on the fishing system then he figured it would be easier to have a combat uh, no to have an equipment component that would handle the um, that would handle the fishing rod and everything and maybe bait or whatever and then he also thought like, yeah, but if we have a fishing rod and everything, I also want my fishing system to have spear fishing. So for that, we need a combat component. And then he started working on the equipment manager and the combat system. And when those came out, he uh, basically just, I don't know, he, d he just didn't really... Uh, the fishing system is now still on the back burner because now they're working on the safe system that has priority first and yeah it just takes a little bit and i mean he probably has good reasons for everything but i'm just waiting for the fishing system and honestly i might just go with another fishing system than his like i said i've been looking at yours atlam and i i I, I might consider it i've seen other systems on the marketplace not a lot though and that is the issue for me. There's not a lot of fishing systems on the marketplace. And there's also like zero decent tutorials to explain how you set it up. Or you need to like gather everything yourself and, and like combine all ideas and codes and shit. And yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, on to the... Carpenter, I've spent way too much time here already. And at the carpenter, we can get the wooden beams that we need for the um, for the what you call it. Oh boy. Yeah, I need to look into how I can make cars drive better because this is an chaos vehicle asset, and I just don't know why it drives so weird. I've tried tweaking settings, but it did not get any better. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I also feel like it can drive too fast. And that will not help either. Hey, look. This is the starting point where we started. Nice. Yay. Yeah. Here, see? I just turned a curve and I already start slipping. Maybe I need to work, do something with the physical material or something. I don't know. Or the friction or the grip of the wheels. I'm not sure. I know that there is some settings for that, but I haven't really looked into it much. I would rather have this vehicle be a better climber and a worse fast driver, basically. It doesn't need to be fast. It just needs to basically climb better. We also have a pickup truck that is um, that is becoming available at some point. I have it ready. <laughs> but um ah, there's the carpenter it's also nice i've done a little uh i've worked on some um unreal engine 5 streaming systems so now instead of <laughs> before all the buildings and interiors were loaded all the time which also did not help <laughs> with the amount of uh, ram that people needed i had no idea it was that bad um, but now I have uh, it streaming in so when you get closer you overlap with a box and if you overlap with that box it basically um, uh, pops in the exterior of the building instead of the proxy mesh and the proxy mesh is just a very super duper ugly low poly version of the building and then when you get closer it will also stream in the 
interior. Um, here we can again fill our canteens, but we really, really need some food. We don't have a lot anymore, and that's really annoying. Carpenter's Digest, that's important for building. Um, okay, let's talk to this woman. We need the short wooden beams, and we need four of them. Trade five. That's actually a nice feature that I like. Um, we can also get a saw table, but it requires level two of wood cutting. Um, fortunately she has one standing around here, but I don't think, no, this one doesn't have fuel in it right now. So we cannot use it. There's also the fine woodworking table that we can use. Also, I don't know why these are pick up That should not be the case. <laughs> well, I'm getting hungry, damn it. Well, I think um, I'm just going to eat these then. Yeah, there needs to be more food possibilities. Um, okay, I wrote it down. So we can use these to for now build make firewood and planks the funny thing is and i don't think it specifies in in here i'm no i don't think so um but there is like um the the tips at the start of the game in the loading screens if some crafting stations are more efficient so you will gather more um resources from certain stations um Wait, why is bread in here? Oh no, did it reset or something? These are not supposed to be in here. Hmm. Cooking pot. Um, okay, yeah. So, um, the salt table and the fine woodworking table they will allow to craft more efficient so the you will get more output per log that you put in um let's um just uh, chop down some trees and take some logs with us i do want to make this animation uh an action a two-handed axe swing And right now it changes automatically into logs. I am not sure if I want this to be a one more choppable thing. Also, for now, it's only the pine trees that are choppable. Yeah, and these voice thingies also need to go away. Because they suck. Hurrah! Ow, ow. Everything bagels? <laughs> yeah, I could probably uh, do something like that, uh, Eric. It's, um, I need to look into the whole, uh, I have found a plugin because these are so-called landscape splines and these landscape splines um, are not really accessible easily in blueprints. So normally if you have like AI vehicles or something, they would drive on the road and they would, would stick to the road, right? They would get to the next point in the spline. Apparently that only works through blueprints in... Um, normal blueprint spines and not landscape splines which is of course fucking stupid because landscape splines have the uh, ability to deform the landscape as well which is really neat and normal blueprints don't have that unless you or normal blueprint spines splines jesus don't have that unless you um basically yeah otherwise you need to do some very hardcore C++ stuff, I believe. 
I think, to be able to deform the landscape. I'm not sure, but that's what I imagine. Um, so yeah, it's it's not as easy as one would hope. Um, this is... I don't think this is a choppable, is it? What is this? Oh, that's... Uh, no, that's uh, a black alder. That is black alder. Here we have another choppable. Yeah, I have um, I have added uh, one. So most of these trees, if they even had collision attached to them already, they would have col a like convex collision. So there was collision around the 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 trunk and then all around the, the branches as well, which would basically make them roll around on the on the floor. But I have now one single convex collision going all the way up through the trunk. And that's it. I thought that was enough and it is. This works way better. But yeah, the splines are indeed drawn, but they are drawn um, basically... Uh, oh, and this is the trunk storage, by the way. Sorry, I keep going from one thing to the other. Let's just put most of the things in there. Put that in there. This we're gonna put in there too. We'll read that at night. Stones can go in there. Yeah, okay. There are. This is broken. Okay. We also have a sleeping bag uh, standard in the back of the car. Which is nice if you're stuck somewhere on a journey. And you need to sleep quickly to sleep through the night. Because it's dark or whatever. Then you have that backup. You can also craft one. But yeah. You need to... Uh, you first need to have the uh, workbench for that. And the workbench we have not seen yet. We're going to work on that next. Um, so let's go back to the gas station to buy some more food. Because we do not have... Uh, we, they, we can't really cook anything yet. I also need to bring back the berry bushes again, I think. But yeah, I'm not sure yet. Don't want to put too much in it right away. Because everything you add might break on another thing, you know, and that's annoying. Um, da -da -da -da. Atlam also said there is some, but no good fishing system. That's why I made my own. My system is not a fishing simulator, though, uh, but I'm not done working on it. Yeah, I thought I saw that. I mean, the thing is, I want to, the way I want fishing to be is basically like not per se a mini game because i hate mini games but i wanted to um like you know in far cry far cry 5 for example or red dead redemption you can fish basically as a side activity or just to like relax a little bit and then you also get some food right that's what i want it to be but i don't want it just like you cast your rod like you go your rod and you pick it back up and there's a fish right i want it to have like whoop and then wait a little bit maybe reel it a little bit or whatever and then you might get a fish or it might unhook itself from the thing you know something like that is what i was thinking but i don't know and i do like the fact that um uh, i do like the fact that you uh oh boy wow I do like it that your fishing system also has like uh, that little, uh, what you call it, the um, hold up, I need to concentrate a little bit otherwise we might hurt and die. Yo bro, gib food. Give everything, everything. That's better. Okay, halfway. 70. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um so what I was saying. Um Yeah, that's what uh that's what you also wanted. Yeah, that's what I thought. Far Cry's two mini game was burning whole villages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey Maurice, what's up? Uh any quest system in this? No, not yet. Not really. I am not really 
So the game is a storage based, a story based game uh, focused on exploring and there might be some sort of quests eventually, but I'm not sure if I want to, to, to portray the story, story through quests or through exploring and finding clues to the story. There might be optional quests, I was thinking of those. For something down the line just to give the player something to do you know like um i don't know if there's more cabins or whatever you could uh go there and clean them up or whatever i don't know or maybe like uh oh there is a new uh, person wanting to move into the village to the valley can you build him a cabin or whatever you know something like that uh but I'm not sure yet if I how, how if and how I want to um, to put that uh, if and how I want to give that for give that form. Jesus, sorry guys, I really have a hard time talking. Um, so let's check the map and see where we're at. Right, uh, we need to get out of the car to check the map, which is something that I did on purpose. We have several points of interest on the other side of the river. And then here and there. We could check out this one. Um, let's see. I think I want to start a building over here. I also need to, need to recapture the map, I see. Because this is still brown and it's now green. Um, Here is another point of interest. There is a few here. Oh, we can actually check the check one out, but I think I have closed it off. But I can give you a little sneak peek into it. Um, let's go to the other side of the river. Yeah, let's do that. Now we're going to drive towards the post office. And we're going to find another abandoned same vehicle as this uh, along the road that is not gonna be there when the game hits steam because of course that was unplanned um but um yeah it, it was there for testing purposes because i needed to fix the way the door swinged because it broke and there was no easy way to uh just get out there so if we stop here for a second, oh my god. We're at a crossroads right now as you can see. Um For anybody watching, going to the left, there is not a lot. There is some stuff actually. Actually, there is more stuff than you will find cuz um Spoiler alert, a lot of the things that you can find in the game are not on the map on purpose because of exploring, right? So there is like recipe books or... Um, um, so we have recipe books for uh, building slash crafting, which have... Which is one is um, the carpenter's um, digest, which we found already at the carpenter's house. Um, then we have the fine woodworking digest and we have a gardening digest and the fine woodworking digest is for, so the carpenter's digest is for building. The fine woodworking digest is for like, uh, like the windows and I think also the doors and in, like furniture and stuff. Then we have the gardening digest, which is for the farming and stuff. So there is like three different categories of quote unquote magazines that you can find and or buy. This is the post office. And at the post office, you can buy a building plan that you need to start building. Now we already have one because, you know, uh, we need to make sure that we can test the game. That's why we also have a bow and arrow that you normally need to look for and find. The, and that's so this is the post uh, master, whatever you want to call him. Here is Gardener's Digest Fall 2. And this little thing is the mailbox of Theodore Thompson. This cute little mailbox 
is empty, but when the season changes, you get your salary check in there. Hell yeah, brother. And how do we know? Oh, look, it's a deer. Oh, dear. Oh, that was totally miss. Wow. Ow. It's hit. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. And it will drop to the floor any second now. And if we go look, we can try and follow. Oh, there it goes. If we go and check, we can. We should be able to find some sort of blood trail. I think. I don't know how long they stay and how well they are visible, but there should be sort of a blood trail around here. I was trying and testing with this earlier today, and it did. Oh, there is another one. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, here is a blood. Blood drops. And um, we should be able to skin this guy. And we can pick up our arrow and we can skin this guy. Oh, oh now we get rotten meat, I think. However, when I was testing this before, I did not get my meat and shit. So I need to figure out why that is not working. Um... Probably something in the migration that I missed. Or it's just not showing me the... Oh, no, it is. Oh, it did work. Okay. It's just not showing the... Um... Now we have two rotten meat, spoiled meat. Um, okay, that's nice. So I just... I think I missed the checkbox somewhere where it also shows the... Uh... Look, when you pick something up on the left side, you see plus one peppermint or whatever. That should say then uh, plus one, uh, what is it, like meat and hide or whatever. I need to uh, probably tick a checkbox somewhere to make sure that that happens. Um, okay. What next? Um, we have seen the post office. We have, ha we have some meat. Now we can eat that raw, but that is of course not the smartest. Oh, here's more. Alright, cool. Let's slice it up. Yeah, so right now it just... It goes away and then it should spawn back as a skinnable item. However, that is a bit buggy. That is a decay system of... Um, animal behavior kit which is I do not like it that well it is a bit finicky at times so I think I'm going to change that into something that suits me more um, yeah this one also disappeared damn it I think it's basically there is a checkbox in ABK that says uh, align to floor or something or spawn on floor or whatever and then it doesn't I don't know where it goes wrong, but yeah. Also, there is like no sounds for the animals yet, and they're a bit finicky with running away. Luckily, ABK is getting another update as well soon, so that should be cool. Okay, this deer is also gone. That's annoying. Oh, nope, here it is. So there is too much time between it. It's, it is his retirement check. Yeah, basically... Cabinets is a huge thing with fine woodworking. Yeah, that's true. Can skin through. Can I skin it again? That's not supposed to happen. If I now have a lot of food in a minute, I definitely need to see why this is happening. Because this should not be possible. 12. Yeah, I think we skinned it like a few times. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I want to rework that system anyway so we can... Oh, it's actually more lighter for you guys because I have a gamma thing on the... Uh... Oh, I need food and drink. Let's take this one too, actually. Yeah, that's better. So let me actually change my OBS settings so you guys actually see how I see it. There you go. 
this is how dark it actually is. Um, yeah, he does the weird idle animations. I don't like those. So I don't think the sun has set or it's dusk yet. Uh, it should be. The event sunset did not fire and therefore these lights did not go on. That's interesting, but post office is now lighter inside also this is not supposed to respawn i don't know why it does another thing i need to look into so let's just grab our uh sleeping bag and take a nap under the stars first we're gonna read these two these three books this one here look cooking with wild herbs written by famous chef pacifisto <laughs> pacifist Amazing book about cooking with wild herbs. Reading this book will take a bit of time, but will make you a better chef in the kitchen. AKA, it's a skill book. Let's see if the lantern does work now. I don't, know. I don't think it does, but... No. No. Okay, that's fine. So, we're gonna read these books, and this one is for building. And it also skips a bit of time. Uh, and then we'll take the guard. We can't read the gardener's digest yet because we're too stupid. We need level one first. Oh, I forgot to set the reading action. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, we're not reading this book. Ah. Let me uh, write that down as well. Uh, book. Herbs. Read action. Okay, did we find anything else that I haven't written down yet? Yeah, lantern, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cook with that cooking pot recipes, yeah, okay. Um, oh yeah, and Okay, written that down. Um, well, look how bright it is with the moon out. Jesus, that's hella bright. I don't like that. Need to uh, modify the night time to make it a bit darker. But oh, we already have the... Um, okay, so we have the sleeping bag and we can just press I and then double click or right click to place it. And then we can take a nap under the stars. Hell yeah. Seven hours and make it five. Yeah, I have a few. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's not F. I think I set it to P or something. I was L. P, yeah. Need to change those because this guy is like 68 years old and he Dutch is like a 20 year old. It's crazy. Um, so let's think. Yeah, let's take a ride over here because I don't think we should get into farming yet. I am curious though how well that works. So we might get into that a little bit later down the line also use some of that um, some of that food from the farming but we'll look at that in a little bit first we're gonna check out um, a fire tower over here so I know there is some food over there and some other goodies maybe oh boy oh boy oh we're good Also going to be looking for some stuff on the hilltops here. Let's actually, you know what, let's um, 
Oh boy. Okay, because there is like... Uh, are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is another gas station, but this is closed. It just has the pumps where you can buy stuff. And you might occasionally find something else here. Now, I don't want you guys to be spoiled by all the locations of everything, but... Yeah, it is what it is. We're playtesting, right? Haha. <laughs> Might just shuffle them around. Don't think so, but maybe. Chamomile. Yeah, for a foraging game, there is not enough forageables around. At least not usable ones. Like, I see a lot of these nettles. We need way more... Uh, we'll call it... Way more uh, mushrooms and shit. Like the even the red mushrooms are not that abundant, which I kind of expected them to be. So I need to tweak some of those spawn settings, but that's fine. My in-game driving is scary. Ah, oh, I'm glad you say in-game. Everybody is always like bullying me about my driving, but yeah. My in-game driving is always a bit scary. Look at this view, by the way, guys. Holy jeebus. Wow. It's not too bad. Nah. Yeah. Ow. I hoped I could make it, but nope. And eventually, I also want to bring back the fact that you need to uh, build, uh, or that you need to um, activate the, oh yeah, water, hell yeah. Also, this still says water well stone. That, yeah, it is, right? It, it doesn't look too bad. Here, a candy bar is so damn beautiful. Okay, do we actually have some containers to fill? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, I think this also takes a bit of time to, and we also don't really need to. You know what? Let's actually uh, cook the meat before it goes bad. Let's... I don't know. Split one. Oh, okay. Split one is nice. Split half. Do that. Okay, let's go. And then uh, this. Turn them on. And then cook all the meat. Hell yeah. 12. Oh no, that's way too much. I don't have... S I, d I can't keep it g good long enough. Oopsie. Oh well. Uh, no, you cannot. You cannot wash your clothes yet. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of XP for cooking this. That's not great. Need XP. So, and we can just let this cook. We don't have to be inside of it. Oh, look, it's Gardener's Digest Volume 1. Beautiful. Hey, a wool undershirt. That is really handy for when it gets colder. OMG. Hey, some more food. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Yosemite Park Forest Service Situation Board. Nice. Look at look at that, that map over there, dude. That's gorgeous. Let's actually go into first person view here a little bit to look at this board. Wow. Do you see that? That's an actual map of the valley from the 1800s or something, I think. Or maybe a bit later. Or was it the 80s? The actual 80s? I don't know. 
Let's look at this here. Let's go outside. Wow. Oh, we're hungry. Let's uh, get some of the meat in. I did not check how much it did. I do not like the first person mode in this game, to be honest. But what else can we cook? Water, peppermint tea. Oh, we can make a lot of peppermint, or maybe two, actually. Chamomile tea as well. Oh, stick. Turn it back on. Make this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's going on? It's my inv <gasps> my inventory is full. Oh shit. Okay. So this is funny. I never had this happen during a playthrough. Uh, my inventory is full. Oh, we also have a fireplace here. Let's actually check how that looks. Yeah, that's nice. Fireplace gives us, uh, if you look at the left, it gives us the warm state effect, although it is already not that cold, so it gives us the hot state effect. But yeah, look at this. Wow. Not too shabby, if I may say so myself, especially if you know where we came from with the performance issues and everything. <laughs> is it possible to make deer jerky? Not yet, but we can actually look into that. That is a great suggestion. Now, there is also a generator here. Oh, which registers as a storage chest. That is wrong. Um, <clears throat> so... Now we can eat and drink some of our stuff to clear up some space. We can also, here, if you look at this undershirt, this wool undershirt has a chill temperature. It says um, in the tooltip, like I can't point it, but the green letters, chill temperature penalty plus 3.5. So if you look at the top right above me, all the way in the top, I hope it is readable for people. If you're on a phone screen, that's your own fault. Just kidding. Um, it says their environment temperature is 24.5. That means, and you can also see that in the bottom because I do uh, Celsius. Um, the temperature outside is 24 and a half. And you see that in the top as well. It doesn't update like immediately, but it does well enough. And uh, below the environment temperature, it says uh, chill temperature penalty. Now, I'm going to change that, I think, to something else. Um, but if I now put this on, it will add uh, 3.5. So right now, my feel, my temperature feeling is um, 27 and a half. So that's quite warm. So I'm going to unequip it again, because otherwise... We, if it gets too warm, we also get negative penalty from it. Um, what did I leave upstairs? Yeah. So what we can do, we can actually drink the Coke. We can fill up our empty bottles that would stack them back up. That's nice. Um, so let's go back up and see if we can take everything. And then we'll go back to the car. And at the car... Okay, drink some more. Fill containers. That's fucking loud. Okay. Um. Oh, that food respawns. That's also fun. Not supposed to happen, but I'll take it. Oh, and then the stuff from the stove. My full bottles. This and charcoal. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Also, some food is only craftable at some cooking locations. So, for example... Um, there is a recipe for uh, roasted mushrooms. That is only... Oh, this is ugly. What the fuck's going on here? Yeah. Need to put a rock against it or something. Stupid splines. Um, 
so the roasted mushrooms are only cookable at a cooking place with an open fire, which means um, zero nettle. What? Why? Because I'm full. Yeah. I can't carry any more and my stack is 25, which is probably the max, which is not a lot. Um, <coughs> the mushrooms are only culinary. Um, we do not have a health potion or something or, or medicines. We do have the chamomile tea, which uh, adds 50 health. Um, and peppermint tea, maybe. Yeah, so the teas basically have healing properties because of their herbs. I thought it was a more fun route to go than the average bandage that every game has. Um, let's see, where is... Oh, it's over there. Let's go back to the car and put the stuff that we cannot use at the moment in the car. I also, um, you see, I have leveled up a while ago. And we have one attri two attribute points. Like we're also hungry again. God. Oh, yeah, a lot. Holy crap. Hold on. Uh, meat. Meat. Okay, that's good. So we have leveled up and we have two attribute points, which means we can up our uh, maximum health, energy, food, Hydration or energy. One of these is stamina and the other one is fatigue. I don't know why the text shows it as, as this. Um, that's wrong. I am going to try this and hope that it's stamina. And I'm going to go with food. Both of these are now at the maximum of 110. Which I should be able to see somewhere. Yeah, but it doesn't show. Oh, wait, here. Of course, uh, maximum health, energy is 110, yeah, energy. And then inventory weight we are not using. There are so many stats here that you never need, but whatever. Um, Let's uh, actually go back to uh, oh, stick. Eh. Let's go back to the, um, to the car. And then we'll start building. Now I'm actually I have to think where the carpenter's digest number two is. I don't know from top of mind. There's a few options, but I'm not gonna show you. Oh, we're almost out of gasoline. Wait, we can actually empty out our inventory by fill the gasoline. Oh, also, by the way, um, right now you can buy the, um, uh, how did I say that? You can buy the uh, building plan at the post office, right? Yeah, you can do that, which costs 600 something dollars. You can also just explore and try to find one yourself, because there is some, there is one out there that you can find instead of having to buy it. Now let's go past the camping, which I think is right here. Hell yeah. Perfect. Perfect park. But this is the little camping area over here. Or one of them, actually. There is more, but again, they're not all marked. Ah, the recipe for roasted mushrooms. Perfect. We we're just talking about it. Here's another lantern. But that is not working. Oh, I did not want to pick that up. Damn it. Um, yeah. Anything else here that's good? Not really, huh? I need to put some more stuff here to find. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. There is maybe some over here. At the canoe. The canoe? Canoe? No? Oh. 
I really thought there might be some drink or something. Okay. Well, okay. I thought there was more here. I spent so much time making this area and then there's like nothing to find here. Crazy. Um, wild herbs, soups, roasted mushrooms. Learn. Nice. That uses the red mushrooms, by the way. Currently, they do minus 30 health. Um, which, of course, is not great. We also have here the Book of Cooking with Wild Berries, written by a foreign chef, Neo Cryptorian. Amazing book about cooking with wild berries. Reading this book will take a bit of time, but will make you a better chef in the kitchen. There you go. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna eat this bar before it goes completely bad. Yeah, okay, let's put some shit in the car and let's go. I want to start building. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're gonna put these books in there. This one, I'm gonna put this shirt in there because we're not gonna need it yet. Put the gasoline in there. This book also takes time to read. Um, this we don't need. These are broken. Yeah, I think that's about good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Another thing that I think that is not worked in currently, but that I would love to have. Oh, that was weird. Botch! Haha, <laughs> fuck you, Eddie. Oh, it's raining deer. Beautiful. Good to know that they're there and that we can uh, harvest them. Ha 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 ha. But I believe currently there is no way to pause the game either. I think that when you hit the system menu, which I want to link to the escape button, I now know how to do it. Um, I think I will make that a pause the game kind of button, I think. <laughs> Let's check out this building and then I have to step out for a quick second. Now this is another fireplace, it basically works the same as the one in the... Um, we call it in the fire tower we put some fuel in it we turn it on and there is no fire effect great okay that's broken let's get this recipe for nettle tea yeah that's stupid that it's broken oh and here is one of the fridges that currently are free to use uh, however they um, will Eventually you will need to um, turn on a generator everywhere and use fuel for the generator. Um, oh, delicious salads. Nice. Hey, look, this looks familiar, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Intro screen. Haha, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. Okay. You can also exit through this door. And go out. And then there is some firewood over here. And the axe that you need to find. The axe is also at another... Oh, I think I know the other location for the Carpenter's Digest. Okay, yeah. Let's um, continue on then. Whoa, is it getting... By the way, has the weather changed at all? It hasn't, right? I feel like it's been clear skies all day, every day. That's crazy. The weather should change. It doesn't. That's interesting. Need to check those settings. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, yeah, yes, but... Um, not for this guy. Um, 
Maurice says, um, I agree uh, about there not being bandages or the teas being there for healing. Uh, and I don't think the Yosemite environment has leaves or mosses with healing properties. And I think he's referring to the leaves and stuff. They, the techniques they use in, for example, Green Hell, where you um, can grab leaves and put ash or honey or whatever in it. I mean, it kind of can work like that. And yes, the uh, Yosemite Valley does have some of those properties. Of course, there has um, been several tribes of uh, Native Americans living in the valley before, well, the time of the Americans. Um, and they also had all kinds of these tricks with medicinal herbs and other medicinal properties of plants and stuff. Um, and that's the reason we went with the... Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Can you show us the microtransactions? Um, yes, I can give you the link to my PayPal. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, so, while it is possible for those four leaves to... Oh my god, here we go again. I fucking hate these plants, dude. Why is the collision still on? I thought I turned it off. Okay, here we go. Yeah, get it started in here. Uh, oh, it needs to climb harder. Okay, we're going to one more fire tower. And then I will have to uh, step out for a hot second. Um, we will be back though soon. We'll more be like uh, get a drink and a pee break basically. Let's see. If I were now to... Uh, can I see it from here? I think I should be able to. But I'm not sure. Especially not with this hazy light. Oh, it's maybe there. I'm not sure. Let's check the map real quick. And we can see we are right over there. And over here is the POI that we're looking for. So let's just go off into the hills a little bit with the car. Because most of the small shrubs should not have collision. I changed that this afternoon. Okay, that one still does. Hoorah. Uh, and when we're up there, I will show you that this is the road that I usually take to get there. Well, the route, I should say, because it's not a road. There is a path and a road to get there. And we will follow the path and the road back to the valley, I think. So I can show you guys... Uh, the uh, coming feature that I was talking about all the way in the beginning. But I think it is locked still. Because it is not an area that is uh, usable now. Oh, come on, dude. Drive. Come on. Don't pitch. Are we even going the correct way? I don't know. I only built this game. I don't know where everything is. <laughs> Star Wars game, bad boy? No, I will not be buying that because I'm not into those games personally. So what I want for this car is to... It's, I mean, this is a basically a vertical hill, so it's not that weird that it can't really climb it. But, I mean, I want this car to be able to climb a little bit better. And not be that fast. So I need to tweak the torque settings and everything a little bit. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. But. Uh, can zigzag a little bit to build some speed I think. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's right there, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I see it now. We could abandon vehicle here, but... <sighs> climbing up a mountain, I mean... Ugh. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, now it also gets dark. That's not great. Uh oh. Turn on the lights of the car. Can you see the fire tower yet, guys? Okay, I think I might just leave the car here for a bit because it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's way faster. <laughs> I turned on the headlights, Maurice. Probably a little bit behind. Okay, let's see. Um, oh yeah, there is a, here is another X to be found. They will also be uh, fixable if you find the items you need. Oh, this should not look like that. Damn it, dude. Why is everything changed? Ugh. Urgh. We need food again. Okay, let's get some food. Let's drink a bit of water. Why are these not stacked, damn it? Okay, there we go. All right. Um, we'll go upstairs here, we'll grab the stuff and I think we'll take a nap. Maybe. And yes, this is basically the same fire tower, at least for now, because it's easy. Filling up the water bottles. Yeah, there it is. Carpenter's Digest number two and another clean water. And here is also a tiny fridge, which will eventually also need the Jenny downstairs to be turned on. But that isn't implemented yet, because, you know, one thing at a time. All right, now um, let's get back to the car. Oy, oy, oy. Ah, oh, that hurt. Ow. Oh, and health also auto-regenerate. Your battery will die. No, it won't. I know this is the 1980s. Cars were built better then. Just kidding. Um. Let's, uh... Hello, guys. My name is Theater Thompson. Welcome to Jackass. Hell yeah, brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Today we'll be uh, driving down a hill. It's gonna be dangerous. We might die. Oh boy. Ow. So another feature that will be coming to the game as well at some point is the car that can take damage when you hit stuff. But before I add that, it needs to drive at least a little bit better. Um, but if you drive into uh, trees and shit too much, you need to get it repaired. Um... And there will, of course, be a car mechanic at one of the gas stations, for example, where you can uh, then get it fixed. But that is something further down the line. Eventually, there will also be a second car available for purchase at the post office, uh, which will be a pickup truck that you might have seen before in the uh, T-Pock. I think it was already available for driving around and testing. Come on, you stupid fucking car. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm, sure. Yep. We're almost at the road, guys. Hang on. There it is. Oh, my God. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, we'll keep on this side of the road and we'll go to the little field over there. Oh boy. God damn. Okay, let's keep on trucking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
yeah this is just plain annoying how it just skids off when you uh, turn your wheels a little bit need to look into that like I said before okay um, we are going to uh, start the building over here uh, because we can and there's a lot of wildlife here so that's nice um, oh my god that's a lot of wildlife <laughs> Okay, I might have to look into that. <laughs> oh, it's not tanking performance per se, though. That's interesting. I would have expected that many AI to be heavier. But okay. We need a gun. But there's no guns in this game. Ah, oh, too bad. Okay, let's eat the food and drink some water. Water, water, water. Here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, like, how can I... I cannot pause the game, can I? It does not pause the game. That's annoying. Wait, can I... That works. Perfect. Okay. Guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Um, we'll continue and test the building system and see if it's still all working. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
All right, all right, all right. Anybody still around? Or is everybody gone? I'm sorry, guys. I had to uh, check in downstairs. The wife got home and I had to say hi. As we do as good hubbies. Oh, what a pity. We went from uh, like, what is it? Not eight or nine viewers to like four. Oh, well, it is what it is. It's fine. I get it. Um, let's unpause. And let's start building. All right. Oh, I so need to look into traps, dude, because this is amazing. Okay. Um, going to the inventory. I'm going to rebind those keys because this is fucked up. Let me write that down right away. Uh, menu keys rebind uh, to tab. Okay, okay, mateys. What's this? Blackberry jam, healthy salads. Let re let's read this. I think this takes time, but I'm gonna read it anyway because we have some herbs that we might be able to use. An art by a sloth. What the frow yo? Yeah, they all left. Yeah, it's fine. It's my own it's my own fault, mate. Let's also read oh we can't. We need to get to construction level one. What's this? Digest two. Nettle tea, we can learn that. We need to make some space. We have several axes that we <laughs> don't need. Um but it's fine. Let's get to the car. Um, we need to, what's this, herbs, cooking with soups, what there is, yeah, that's fine. We need the beams, we need planks and logs, and then we can put away stone. Let's think, let's think, uh, this can go, this can go, this can go, this we need, this can go, this can go, don't they stack? They don't. Oh, that's interesting. Writing it out. Okay, don't stack. Uh, gardening Digest 1. I'm going to read that real quick. I'm going to spend some time. It's going to be 5 a.m. It's light again. Hell yeah, brother. Amazing. Put this away, put this away. Eat some meat. And this is gonna go in the car. Yeah. Alright. Now we can... What's with these animals, dude? Weird. Um... <laughs> Let's go to the crafting menu and then we want to craft this. What do we need to rope? Oh, it's making four. I only want two. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got two rope. We can build a workbench. And now we got the workbench and we can place that place. And then let's put it over here, I guess. Now with this workbench, we can build the stuff that we already could build. I don't know why this and these are, oh, that's cloth, okay. A wooden spear and a wooden arrow. And we are going to turn all the logs into planks, basically. Craft all, I don't know if that's gonna, no, nah, it's only max Q, but that's fine. Um, and then we can start building, guys, let's go. Now these animals will run away if you get close. Also notice how the crafting of the planks, like right there in the bottom, it will yield us construction XP. See, there's another one. Let's equip the building plan. And now we have this little wheel and we have the wooden foundation and we can start building a building if we want to. Oh, these animals are so fucked up. <laughs> I'm glad that um, 
uh, the Def is coming with another uh, with an update. Um, also, another thing that I want to add to this um, currently, and I've been looking into it, but I haven't been able to add it yet. Do you remember Pal World? When we oh, it's Gebak. Oh hell yeah, that sounds sounds good, buddy. When if you remember Pal World, when we played it, um, when you um, right clicked it kept the building going i did add the destroy already see so now it's gone and we can rebuild it again um oh, now it doesn't place it because it isn't completely broken yet son of a bitch okay well then we'll just put it here how long is that gonna take though oh well we can just uh, put it over here then. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, I need to check that. Okay. Now we can put the planks in there. Four planks each. Maybe we can put it in now. No, because it's overlapping with the rest. Oh, no shit. Because it, oh, because it was attached. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. I uh, need to look into that. It's fine though. We can probably think of some way to use this. Um then we can place walls with window frames or with a door frame can we put a wooden ceiling here no you see how it is this area is connected to those three it seems like or is it wait nah it's connected to all of it okay never mind then um so let's start with the the window walls and the window walls are just open walls the same with the door and the reason for that is because we need to have level 2 construction to um, let's add the resources to these three planks each um, we need to have construction level 2 <laughs> okay to um, learn the Carpenter's Digest Volume 2 and we are on our way with the construction, but we're not yet there. Um, I thought that building these buildings would also gain XP, but apparently it is not. I haven't added that yet from the looks of it. Let's see, where's all the animals? Mostly over there. Now I want to destroy this wall, but I'm afraid that it's not going to work. So. I'll just do that, then put a window there. We'll put the door, I guess, over there. I don't know. And another window over there. Closed wall over here. <coughs> and then closed wall in this. Now put it over here. And then we'll put another door over here, I guess. Bam. Bam. I said bam. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hope uh all right. Can we now get in here? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Because as you can see, we also cannot build a staircase now because we do not have the sufficient level. Um I thought. Crafting this is construction. I don't know what this one, if that gives anything. Tailoring, oh yeah, of course. <coughs> um. We made 72 planks. Or not. Now we started with a lot of them, right? Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, we'll just need to make some more planks. Ah. Uh. Let's uh, get ourselves some more logs, I guess. Oh boy. Five and then chop down three. Ah shit, this is not a pine tree. Eh. I need to add uh, the sharpening stone back in. Such weird logs here, lol. It's fine though. Um, ah, here's another one. He, uh, oh, wow. That rug is ugly. Alas. Too bad, son. Ow. But yeah, for these animations or like the chopping animations, I want to look at uh, a two-handed axe because this is stupid. There's no way you can chop down these big old trees with just a one-handed axe. I mean, you could, but with a hatchet. I mean, you could, but it's not efficient. Also, there is no holding action. It's not like hold down to chop. Might look into adding that as well, but that's not on the to-do list for now. Am I part of the A-team? Hell yeah, brother. We are thirsty. Uh, let's drink some soup. Yeah, that's good. Oh, these are not stacked. Why? Oh, annoying. Shit should stack more often. I think I'm also going to see if I can divide half of the spawn points for the nettle. For like the red mushrooms or something. The hell? Now, I believe we can also chop down these, but I'm not sure how that works. Guess it doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh, lol. Okay, that takes more time than... Ah, that makes sense, actually. Interesting. Also, currently, I think trees do not respawn, but I'm not sure. Okay. Wow. Durability on axes is low as fuck. It's not too great, but... Let's get back to the house. <sighs> uh, mm, no, 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 no
Also, make sure you are never without gasoline, otherwise it's a long ass walk. Alright, let's grab all the planks that we made. Grab this and this. Transfer half and... What? Did it do it? No, it just split it. Okay, and then... More planks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give these a 0 0.3 or something. This is too low, just, just too low. Or, no, wait. I mean, I don't have to make the planks higher. I just need... The building needs to add XP. Either the adding the resources or placing the ghost build. I think finishing the building, finishing a wall or something, right? Because otherwise you could just spam it. If we uh, equip this one again, we can build. Oh, look, we already. Oh, yeah, we read the, 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 the gardener's digest already. And, oh yeah, we want to, we definitely want to build a campfire out here, maybe, probably, possibly. Opa. Oh yeah, look, we can make the farmer sell it, possibly, and we have the, or the, far wait, there's two farmers sell it, ah, oh, this, this is not correct, but it's fine. Oh yeah, and this one, but it requires eight. We only got ten. And a stick. I mean, this should be easier to get. Um, get two of those. I need to make these less because they are harder to get now. Um, bop, 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 bop. What else? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, let's. No, we cannot. We haven't filled it. Um, this salad can we make that i think so we have some stuff around let's see i also want to change where you can make the salad i think you should be able to make the salads on your person instead of in the campfire because crafting a salad should not require uh i need more peppermint i thought i had more peppermint where's my peppermint bro what? Did I not just grab my peppermint from the car? What? It's only one. Did I eat it? Or did it, uh, it probably went bad? Oh no. Oh, this goes way too fast. Holy crap. Did you see that? Wow. I mean, I do like the fact that health of items go down, but not that fast. Jesus. Also, I might add the like mushrooms and uh chamomile and stuff to grow in the grass fields right now never n nothing grows in the grass fields of the uh the pick up a balls basically but we should maybe look into that into adding that as well another stick yeah i don't know why the nettle is so abundant it's weird I gotta play around a little bit with those density filters. Here, another nettle. Dude, I'm going... <laughs> or I should use them like in another recipe or something. But I have so many nettles right now. It's crazy. Also, the other stuff might just be harder to see. 
here. See, I almost, I did not even see that peppermint. I mean, I could make it bigger. I don't know. Okay, the red mushrooms aren't that bad to find actually. I see a lot of them. There's also more peppermint. Peppermint, opa. Hell yeah, brother. Another one. Another one. <coughs> <coughs> See, you just kind of got to look for it a little bit. Another one. Oh, and yeah, they do respawn quite, uh, quite all right, I think. All right, there we go. Now we can make a salad. Let's go back to Le Campfire. Wait, why is the car over there? Oh, that is, oh, that's over there. Okay, lol. Why, look at here. Oop. I didn't find, I found a lot of peppermint, but no chamomile or uh, This might need a crosshair, dude. Oh, he got hurt. Oh, I think I actually hit two of Oh, I hit two of them. Nice. Come on, dude. Where's your... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Look at all the blood. Beautiful. <laughs> Meat is murder. Yep, but me going hungry is also murder. <laughs> oh yeah, I pick up the arrows again. Pow, right in the kisser. Quickly before it, uh, ah, it's already too late. No, it's not. Wait, is the raw meat going that fast? No, it's not. Gotta eat this. We're gonna need drank soon though. Okay, let's just go uh, back to the house. I thought I made it so that you can also fill your bottle at the river, but I'm not sure if that is implemented in the current build. I'm not sure if it's in the current build. All right, put the this in. Yeah, it needs fuel. Okay, that's interesting.
Oh, and the farmer's salads. The salads are also, uh, this is supposed to be a herb salad. I don't know why the text is not correct. Probably forgot to change it or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, these salads go bad quite fast though. And um, a fridge will help with that. But they also do health. So that's nice. Okay, drink a little bit. Okay, so we can also put in ceilings. Yeah, I really want to uh, add that functionality where you can click right mouse button. It will place them, but not, um, you know. Oh, I don't have any planks on me. Okay, interesting. Huh? Not adding them? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they need to be supported. That's right. Okay. Can I build one now? Nope. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, that's possible. Hm. Okay, weird, still weird. This goes way too slow, brother. 112 planks. Jeebus. I don't like that it takes so long. God damn it. By the way, what does it take for this to... Uh, oh, it requires stone. I have stone. Wait, that's weird. That's not how I set it up, but all right, I guess. Do I not have a construction book? No, damn it. Jesus, okay, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, and that is not something I use, so it has ingots, okay. Um, yeah, I think we're uh, somewhat stuck now because I have how many planks? 12, 112 at least. Well, I can oh. let's. Oh, here, 26, 30, 138 planks, Jesus. Let's actually make one of these, see if that brings also construction. Definitely need some balancing, LOL. But that's fine, we can do that. It's just annoying that I need to make 
for now I need to make over a hundred maybe even 200 Jesus let's see if we can uh, fill our water bottles in the river if I added that back in Nope. I did not. Let's uh, cut down some more trees then, huh? Since we're gonna need... Uh, <laughs> to <laughs> Shit. too thin it's getting dark in here Don't tell me my freaking inventory is full. Oh, what the hell is this? It's broken. That's weird. 12 sticks. Pick up item name. Oh, interesting. It might have broken the game, dude. Okay, where are the rest of the trees or the weird? The twelve stick is broken as well. I don't know what that is or is supposed to be. I haven't seen that before. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. It's interesting how picking up the logs also gives you 0 0.2. But it seems like that goes faster than construction, huh? Oh well. The funny thing is that <laughs> once your level goes upwards, you um, get uh, more uh, more items when you pick it up. They kind of double or triple. And I might need to tweak that a little bit. I already just got an idea about how to do that. Um, <coughs> I want to see if we got anything from this. Wood cutting. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, more planks. More planks. Oh, we're close now. Yes, finally. Okay, now we can read this book. See, now the text also turns green and we also get immediately 15 XP. What was that? Did we level up right away again? 
Construction level two. No, we did not. But oh, level character. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is it? No, it's not. But that's okay. I'm not sure. That needs to be checked out. Um, let's do max hydration. I think. Okay. But now, oh, we need drink. Let's eat this. Okay, there we go. Hell yeah. Um. Oh, we have a lot of meat. That's right. Um, put that in, and then okay, can we use a plank as combustible? Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. Opa, let's put another plank in there. Opa, I mean it's not that. Uh, <laughs> oh, cooking level three, great. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, but if we now equip the building plan, we should be able to see that we have more buildings. See, hell yeah, we got a staircase. We have not yet. We do not yet have the windows because those are part of either the carpenter's digest three or the fine woodworking one. But we got, for example, this staircase, um, which, yeah, let's put it over there. And this takes planks. And then we can, Okay, and if we now uh, walk up the stairs, we have a top floor. And this we should be able to um, build walls again. And definitely going to put some wall, some windowed walls on this side so we can actually see the animals. go one in the middle here maybe yeah one over there then over here there and there and there and then add resources everywhere we should have enough planks for now fall down we should act you know what let's uh sleep through the night so we can actually see what we're doing how about that do we have the thing in here no here it is what time is it 2 44 a.m Oh, we only need two more hours then. Let's take three. Because uh, sun comes up at 4 a.m. All right. Then we can pick it up with P, which I need to fix. There we go. Oh, come on. Get in. Okay. Hold up. Let's build a staircase right there. There we go. That's better. Uh, now we can actually see. Nice. Weird. Shouldn't have put it in front of a window, but whatever. that over there and then this one over here I think yeah and then a normal wall in the middle yes same over here Hell yeah.
That's actually not too bad. Wow. Looky here. Holy crap. It would be fun if we had glass. Glass roof. Maybe at some point with the farming that we can build a roof. Wow. Okay, this is nice. Really nice. Oh, I like this a lot actually, to be honest. Wow. Now we can go outside. It's annoying that this part is still broken, but whatever. Um, we can... We should be able to pick this up, but apparently we cannot. That's weird. Hmm. Annoying. Uh, workbench. Not pick up. Uh, well, yeah, whatever. It's fine. We can uh, always do that at another point. Um, we um, can, well, then we just kind of got to live like a hobo, I guess. We can scroll to rotate it. We are again thirsty. I think we are getting to a point where we're gonna quit because we don't have enough time and or resources to keep going. <coughs> Let's think, shall we check out then the farming or gardening store real quick. I think that's the last bigger POI that we haven't checked yet. So let's do that. And then we'll stop at one of the houses to fill all our empty bottles. There is also, I should also add the, um, a well to be, to be buildable. There is a well in this uh, asset thing that, um, that we could build. And I think it's either people should be able, I mean, a well will have dirty water. So I think you should have both options either to use the well to, um, get water or the river. I think you should have both, basically. Have we actually checked this house out? I think we did, right? Yeah, but we just, just didn't go over here. So there is another book over here. Oh, that's cooking with wild mushrooms. And then we have another... Oh, this only has this farmer cell. It's interesting. Okay, yeah. I missed something, definitely. Anyway, let's get inside, fill up our water bottles, drink something, and, uh... Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Alright, we got our water back. Now we're going on to the last stop, which is the uh, gardening store. We'll get some seeds if we can. Oh, come on.
Vroom, vroom. There's a car out there. Camping, I think. Oh, boy. Don't look around too much, you guys, while driving. Gosh. There's a gas station. We want to get some more fuel. Got three uh, canisters, refill. That's it. And then we are also leveled up. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go with energy again. Because I'd like my stamina to be higher. Wait, I have more. Okay, then also food, I guess. Yeah. Now, um, hold up. Let's actually take a look at the map first to see what we all discovered already. So we have the post office over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Post office over here. We have the two gas stations that we've been to. We have been to the... Uh, what you call it? Um, we have been to the... Uh, the camp, camp place. We have been to this fire tower. We've been to this cabin. There's another POI further down the road that we will not be visiting today. I think there is a cabin here that we've seen. This is the first cabin that we've been. This is where we started over here. Um, this is where our house is. And this is the carpenters and this is the other uh, fire tower. There is one more POI all the way over here that we haven't seen yet and we will not see. We have not seen this house. And then this will be the gardening store. And then there, of course, is a few more um, POIs that we have not checked out. Um, that are not on the map that you have to find for yourself. I will not spoil everything in this stream, of course. Ha <laughs> ha uh. I have written down quite a lot of notes and if I have worked through these notes that um, um, what you say if, if I have worked through all of these notes then I um, will implement the safe system back again and then we can start looking at a thorough play test with other people and not just the guys. So it would be nice to have a bigger panel to test on because right now the play testers are neo pacifist sebi sometimes and frost those are those are like the only guys that that play test regularly when i ask them to um there are a few more people that have the ability to but they are just very busy with real life and shit so yeah i basically have four play testers which is not a lot so if you are watching and you're like hey i would love to just drive around and try to break this shit that he's building with also giving of course <laughs> uh decent feedback so i can actually do something with it feel free to um to let me know. Ah, look, there it is, the gardening store. That went faster than I expected. Nice. Hoppa. Just roll on in here. Slowly and steadily. All right. So we got some free uh, vegetables here that we can uh, take. And I'm picking them up now because, well, why not? How many bananas was that? Jesus. Oranges. How many were those? Where are they? Where are they? Wait. What? 
I did not pick him up because my inventory is full. Are you shitting me, bro? That's not cool. Hmm. Also, these bottles need to fucking stack the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Well, that's a waste of resources. <laughs> Oh well, let's go inside. It's open for now. It will. It does have an open and closing time, just like the post office. This is uh, Lily from Lily's Gardening Store, and she sells uh, watering cans. I want to buy one watering can. She has fertilizer. She has gardening soil, which we need. Um, let's add it. The watering can is added. I need to make sure that we. Uh, we can sell her the pumpkin, which is nice. 50 coins, that's quite, uh, that's worth something. Um, yeah. And then we can buy some seeds. So I want one potato seed. I want a beet seed. Not everything is growable in all seasons. I'm not sure if that is mentioned anywhere right now. We will work on that of course and also the timing of these grow of growing these is like really off oh we don't have enough money okay oh well does she want these wait what are they worth four coins that's like nothing okay too bad well we got what we got um they are expensive so yeah and oh if we can we buy this no damn it 440 cent cash okay well i mean we can craft it ourselves if we have the uh guard wait can we actually build it yet let's check that real quick no not yet it's level two then hmm. guess it is oh well we'll look at that at home Let's uh, start. Uh... Oh boy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We'll get there. Oh, oh yeah, that works as well. Come on, dude. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, there we go. Yes. 
Uh -huh. On the road again. Oh yeah, and respawning or dying while in a vehicle also doesn't work yet, I think. So we'll go back to our newly freshly built cabin at three kilometers and then um, we'll put down a gardening plot and some seeds and we'll see how that goes. Although that is going to be annoying without water for our watering can. I think we'll uh, stop again at that house over here or maybe even the yeah that's quite far huh like up the hill I was thinking maybe we should oh fuck ow <laughs> I thought maybe we should go to the um, fire station up there I mean we could I don't think... Oh, come on, I turned off your collision. What the fuck is going on? Stupid cunt. Because we're like getting really hungry. Now I think we have food, but we also need water and we need to fill our water watering can. Of course, these trails are not made for driving, but um, yeah. Nobody said we couldn't, so. But I am getting kind of anxious though, because we're really hungry. And we're going to start taking a demerge soon. For both stats, actually. Eat. Eat. Bomb. Okay, we're good for a bit. Oh, come on, dude. was only one we got a can of drink okay there we go <sighs> what do we have in the back here again cooking soups wild berries and wild herbs got one canister of gasoline um Oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Got a potato seed and a beet seed. It's not a lot and it's not going to be that interesting, but let's see how that rolls. Come on.
Wait, I hope I've set up the watering can actually. Otherwise this is not even <laughs> otherwise this would not even um you know there would be wouldn't be a point to what we're doing right now, but we'll see. Nice. Smooth, smooth drift. Ah, the beam is... Oh, shit. <laughs> the beam is pretty close to our house. That's nice. The house without a windows. Um, Let's take the cooking with soups to out there. Now we don't really need that right now. Um, So let's place the gardening plot out here. Now the thing is, if it rains and everything, this gardening plot will be out of water. Otherwise, you need to water it. Um, there we go. And now we can plant the potato seed. There we go. And here you can see that, oh, I think it needs fertilizer, but I'm not sure. Um, and we can make another plot. And there is also bigger and smaller ones, depending on your level. And here we can put the bead seed in that we bought. Now we equip the watering can. Oh, please let me have if this worked. Yeah, it does. Doesn't really have a nice pouring animation or anything, but... Yeah, here it doesn't need fertilizer to grow, but it will grow faster and better with fertilizer. I don't know why weather randomization isn't on though. It's annoying, but whatever. Yeah, let's just uh, check this out and see how it goes. <sighs> and then we'll wrap it up and I can start working on the things that I wrote down. And do they need new water? No, not yet. Just give it a little bit. I don't know how long I can do with the watering can. Oh, it doesn't go down. Okay, that's interesting. I also don't understand why that second icon is an is an X instead of a water drop. I don't think it's supposed to be an X, but whatever. There now it's oh okay. <laughs> huh. I thought they were supposed to have different growth states, but I don't know. Also we get one. Okay. Yeah. 
As you can see, the farming system has not been uh, optimized yet at all. I haven't worked on it yet. Um, now we have learned the soups. So let's take another look at the campfire and we do not have any soups here. Um, probably because we uh, need to um, probably we, because we need to have a cooking pot or something so we can see if we can build one but I'm not sure because I um, I think that it might require resources that we do not yeah two iron ingots we don't have those okay then we can only cook soups at the um, at the appropriate cooking stations which is logical because you need a pan and everything and not just campfire um, Hell yeah, murdered. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you uh, like what you see. If you do, let me know. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments or better yet, leave them in the Discord. If you want to see, if you want to um, like get this game soon, then the link for Steam will be in the uh, thingy right now in the chat. This game is called Yosemite Forest Ranger. I'm working on it basically solo and I have a few people behind me that help out with story and playtesting and shit. Um, this game has building, it has drivable vehicles, it has a real world location data based map of the Yosemite Valley as you can see right here in this vast area. Um, there is the El Capitan on the left and the... Um, um, I need to say this correctly. I think they call it cap capital rock, cathedral, cathedral rock on the left, on the right hand side, um, and a beautiful starry night. I guess um, we didn't go to the location that I was talking about that was going to be an Easter egg, but I can show you kind of where it is. It is. It might not even be uh, loaded in, but um, let me go like this it is right up there follow the arrow and it's right up there there is like this little indentation in the you know what let's drive there and then that will be the ending um anyway <coughs> i want to thank you guys for watching and for your attention please know that this game is still in early access and in active development we are working our buttocks off to make this work, to this game run as good as we can and look as great as it can while also still running great. Wishlist it on Steam or just get it. But do know that the version that is, oh my god, that is on Steam right now does not run great. Okay? The version that is on Steam now needs a very heavy computer and this version that you're seeing right now has had so many improvements and changes already um yeah it's an important uh an important uh, little note um yeah oh you can see the the tower up there already i think i'll just uh, go and walk up this hill you can see the blink and red lights up there yet hell yeah So we're going right now towards YPPR, which is a fictional thing that I um, that that I um, created, that stands for Yosemite Park Public Radio, um, and it is basically where we're going right now. Will be the radio station. Once we have found someone or something that can provide us with music that we can use without um, having uh, issues with YouTube. This area right here will be a building that you can enter where you can do a little uh, puzzle thingy. Look at that. That's gorgeous. 
yeah, it's br it's it's locked as you can see. Um, but we can look inside a little bit, and in here you can basically oh, there is some interact locations already. Ha, huh. that's funny. Um, yeah. So, ooh, a door. Oh, <laughs> spoilers. Anyway, this um, this building is the white PPR. It should have the sign on top, but it doesn't uh, because it's not activated in the in the game yet. Um, but yeah, this is white PPR, the radio station. Once it becomes once we have music, uh, this building becomes available to enter, and you need to fix it through some sort of puzzle thingy. Um, you need to fix it and then there will be radio stations available in the cars or at least a radio station white PPR where you can hear music while driving around in a car um, and before it is fixed it will just sh uh, you will hear static so that's a little fun thing that we that I wanted to add um, and I'm not yet sure how it is going to work um, how do you say that? How it's going to work? Uh, I haven't really thought of the mechanics exactly yet. I have it in my head, but it's not set in stone yet. But look at this view, you guys. Holy crap. Isn't that a beautiful... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's actually... Um We're flying right now, sort of, just to show what it looks like a little bit. Actually, let me just drink something and make this a bit easier and more visible. So I'll go debug, debug camera, there we go. Yeah. That's great. Look at that. Mm -mm. Lol, I was thinking of walking all the way to El Capitan and standing on top of it. I'm glad I didn't do it because we're so far away yet. But yeah, this is the map. This is what it looks like. And this whole valley is basically available to you right now. And um, of course, the map will be expanded upon when we... Uh, when, uh, when we... Uh, yeah, I have enough to uh, add to it. This is what it looks like right now. This is the area that we have. Where the river ends over there. Uh, I'm trying to make it in the middle of the screen, but that's hard. You can see the river and it ends abruptly. The fog is starting to roll in. And then all the way towards somewhere halfway down there. That's what we uh, have available to you as a player. So yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? That's what I thought, okay? Hell yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Sun is coming up in the valley. We have it good here. Thank you guys so much for wa watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more updates. And also just gameplay of other games. Because that's what we love to do as well. Currently also playing Stardew Valley 1.6. And... um yeah a few other games so um yeah check back soon for more updates i will also put up a devlog soon record some and tell the the in a little bit shorter amount of time what we've all been working on and how it's going now because i know that a lot of people on steam uh, don't really know what's going on so yeah um again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it have a beautiful rest of your evening and i'll see you all in the next stream. Bye, everybody. Bye.